Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas episode 8. We are here in Italy in the mountains, you can tell it's, it's a bit chilly, I think you can see my breath. It is 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning and I actually haven't vlogged for the last couple of days. We arrived at midday yesterday, we had a pretty easy journey although a horribly early start. Um, we had we had a bit of a nightmare on Sunday, to be honest, and Hooch had a complete freak accident. Something must have spooked him or the ponies in the sand school. I'd mucked them out, I'd turned them out, I had done them, and then we had um, Gus's godmother who popped over to exchange Christmas presents. We were all having a cup of tea and they left, and then Coco was upstairs in my bedroom and she looked out of the window and she saw she didn't know which one it was at this stage. She saw one of the ponies down on the other side of the sand school. And she came running down, mummy, 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 there's a pony dance. So I literally grabbed a coat and ran. Didn't even take my phone with me, just ran straight up there. And I think Hooch had tried to jump out of the sand school. I think something must have spooked him. I, I don't know, because we didn't see it. But he was caught, there's a bit of a ditch at one side. Uh, there is one ditch at one end and he managed to get stuck in that wedged in the ditch between the sand school and the ditch and his legs were caught in the wire of the sand school and it was absolutely terrifying i of course my first call was to die who is the most incredible lady out there and and she lives minutes away from us so my first call was to die and then um and then to a neighbor and then the next call was to the vet and the vet said have you called the fire brigade and i said no die at this stage had arrived and i said die shall i call the fire brigade and she said yes we ended up having five firemen and the vet and it was it was pretty horrific the vet did say in front of coco which is not great that there was a chance he's not going to make it which was just it was it was a very, very traumatic few hours. I sent Coco inside because I thought, look, she doesn't need to, to witness this. Um, th the great news is Hooch is doing really, really well. He has one tiny scratch on his back leg and I think he caught his face, his lip too, but that's really, really minor. The vet checked him over and he is fine. Our vet is coming um, to check him over as well but I've been on Sunday and even Monday morning before we left, I was up there feeling his legs. He's been walked out regularly and Di has been in close touch and he is doing really, really well, which is such a relief. But it did make Sunday very, very stressful. I actually was, I was quite shell-shocked by the whole thing, to be honest. I was quite, sh well, very shaken. Um, I had flashbacks on Sunday night. It was it was horrible, 
but I'm feeling I'm feeling happier now. I did get some sleep last night, which is good. We looked at different flights to come out here and come out a day later, but that wasn't an option. So we thought, you know, look, he's in great hands. He's he's doing well, um, which which is good. So anyway, I didn't share <laughs> packing, getting here because it was just carnage and my head actually hasn't I just needed to take a little bit of time just to kind of process it get my head around it um, um, and then chat to you all so anyway we're gonna hit the slopes today and I'm gonna take you with me but let me just I'll turn you around and show you where we are the resort that we're in is very small and beautiful we are in a great location <laughs> the ski lift the cable car it's right here so it's very easy to access and I haven't skied in this part of Italy. I've skied slightly further up the valley before, but we're really looking forward to exploring and having a white Christmas here. The little ones are just getting ready for ski school. So we are here with my cousin and his wife and their two children and they're just getting all their gear on head off to their ski school. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Kex and I are on a chairlift together We're having a very, very good morning Really fun skiing with my cousin He used to race for the army So he's a very, very competent skier And um, his wife's brilliant too So we've just been bombing around the place, haven't we? Yeah. really really fun and then stopping in and seeing the little ones in ski school who are getting on well the weather is very good which is um excellent making the most of it because i know it's not always we're not gonna have a week just like this i think there might even be some rain forecast but the snow conditions are perfect so we're having lots and lots of fun i haven't heard how size is getting on he's got a lesson this morning lovely Italian instructor who um, actually is about to go to University of Manchester so his English is excellent and fingers crossed him and Sai are getting on well because um, dad is not the most the most competent skier he tries he tries and I think he gets the biggest prize for trying but he um, he gets quite scared and I think if you learn as an adult you've always got the fear factor I think when you learn as a child it just becomes kind of second nature, second nature and it's much much easier and your ski legs come back really quickly if you've missed a couple of seasons but um, dear Sai tries his best so hopefully he's had a good morning with Benji anyway we're going to enjoy the views from this lift I will um, see if I can show you when we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Let's 
hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Caught by crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright just met up with this one. How's your lesson gone this morning, darling? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Still here. Yeah, you've done it. Done it. Two hours yeah. of skiing with, is Two it called hour. Benji? What? Benji. Yeah, nice chap. Very nice chap. He's got the gist of things. <laughs> lots of rests, lots of chats. <laughs> nice and slowly. But you've just, uh, he's just done this red run. Which is which is pretty impressive. I'm, I'm very impressed, darling. And you're still standing. Yeah. He bolted to the bar like a bat out of her. You went so I see quickly. The home run. <laughs> I like... see the home run and I don't stop. <laughs> Came whizzing in here for a sit down and a Coca Cola. Just to catch a breath. Catapulted over the bench. <laughs> and landed on it. Oh. Bless you, you're such a good sport. When Simon proposed to me, I said yes, but you've got to be open-minded about skiing and I said horses. yes to anything. <laughs> you said yes to everything. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Keep you happy, darling. The children have gone off for a ski, um, the three of them, so hopefully they come back in one piece. I don't know. Yeah, they're skiing really well. They're, in, they're loving it, which is good. And they found their ski legs again quite quickly, which is brilliant. The sun is shining and it's not too cold, so it's perfect. Hi. That's Cousin Dan, Coco, Archie, and Tiff over there. I left Sai and Gus having lunch. Gus um, decided he needed a little break, bless him. His boots were hurting, he was a bit tired, but I'm with these two. Um, and we're, we're skipping lunch and we're just skiing on. We're gonna stop and have a little snack, but the conditions are perfect. The slopes are pretty much empty. The weather is great, the snow's amazing. So we're just gonna make the most of it and ski, ski, ski. I stupidly, in the rush of everything, left my ski boots, my helmet, my goggles, and a couple of jumpers in my ski boot bag in the hall at home. So I'm wearing um, ski boots from the hire shop, which actually are more comfortable than my own, so that's a good thing. And I treated myself to a new helmet and goggles 
my helmet got dropped last year it's got a big crack on it but it does have my GoPro attachment on here and I haven't managed to get one yet I may be able to later so at the moment I'm um, filming with this camera rather than my GoPro which isn't ideal because it's much easier to ski with a GoPro than um, than with one hand and no poles um, trying to film but um, but it's, it's no problem and actually it's lovely to have a new helmet mine was very old probably 15 years old and it had it had definitely seen better days so it's probably not um, it's not the end of the world at all that we left it behind I realized when we got to Gatwick it's like oh we're unloading the bags and yeah we were we were minus one but at least it wasn't a really essential bag and you know these things happen and I just didn't double check because of everything um going on at home it was just a bit chaotic and Maud we woke up as we were trying to get out the house because she was sleeping um not with the other dogs so um I needed to sort of take her out and do that which took a little bit more time but all oh, is well at home which is really good and um yeah everybody is happy aren't you guys yeah. they are both officially better and faster than mama coco has definitely found her ski legs and has been whizzing whizzing around which is really really good and um lovely skiing with dan and tiff they're such a great company and it's really really special for us to spend some time with them because with Dan being in the army, we don't get to see him very often. So um, that is really lovely. And actually Tiff and I, so we had our family holiday in August together and Tiff and I were, were chatting about Christmas and plans and they said that they were skiing and um, and we talked about it and, and, they, and Tiff sweetly said, well, why don't you guys come too? Which is obviously what we've done, which is really lovely. Anyway, we're nearly at the top of this lift and I think, we're going to stop and have a quick drink and a snack up here before skiing back um, over to the other side. So we've just skied over to another valley. There is absolutely nobody here. There's, oh, there are a few people on the chairlift behind me, but there's literally an empty ski resort, which is blissful. This is our spot for lunch. The children have got... <laughs> burgers um, coming and I've got granny soup which looks incredible perfect just what I need Enjoy. warming comfort bowl of cheesy deliciousness it's now about 20 to 4 and we've skied a lot today we did end up stopping and having delicious lunch which we needed <laughs> I think we all thought we weren't hungry until we actually stopped and sat down and realized we were we were quite hungry I don't know if you can see, the light isn't brilliant, it's such a beautiful view behind me. Anyway, we're now going to ski all the way back down to the hotel and then Simon's just messaged and said, shall we go to the spa at five o'clock? I think that sounds like a jolly good idea. So that's what we're going to go and do now. We've just met up with Dan, Tiff and Lilia. She's doing so well this afternoon. This is quite a steep red one. She's doing really, really well. Papa has managed to find a spa in town, so we are just heading heading there. Oh, it's got a bit of snow in his hair. Gussie clobbered him with a snowball and then ran off. Little tyke. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to jumping in a hot tub after a full on day on the slope. Goodness knows how far we ski today, but it's quite a long way. But a really, really exhilarating day. I think there's nothing like the wind in your face. Whizzing around the mountains with your children is so, so much fun. Now this is the life. These reclining beds are so comfortable. Um, just been in a sort of 
bubbly, bubbly hot pool, which is a massage for me, which is really, really very, very lovely. And I think I'm just going to recline here for the next 15, 20 minutes before we pot it back to the hotel to get ready for supper. We are back from the spa, had a shower, and I'm ready for the evening. But a couple of things I wanted to chat to you about first. I forgot to say this morning that we did manage to get to church on Sunday and Coco did sing Once and Royal, which I shared with you right at the beginning. Bless her. I was so proud of her after the day that we had had. It had been obviously horrific, so worrying and scary. She still managed to do that. And there wasn't a moment of, mummy, I can't do it. Mummy, I don't want to do it. She probably didn't sing her absolute best but she did it and super super proud of her i ended up having to do a reading and i read so badly i was still shaking um but but i did it but she definitely um smashed it and she's much more of a cool cum cucumber than i had anticipated we have had a brilliant first day on the slopes lovely to go to the spa and just have a little bit of a relax and there's a couple of things I wanted to share with you actually Simon has brought me up I haven't even had a sip yet Diane what is it a margarita yeah he's brought me up a margarita bless him so I'm gonna have a sip of this first mm. it is really really lovely being here um I, I needed I needed a break and a little bit of a change of scene. It's been so frantic at home, so it's a real treat to be here. But a couple of things I wanted to share with you, which have been a bit of a lifesaver recently. These are Optrex Brightening Eye Drops, and I keep them in my makeup bag. They say they're for dull eyes. But actually, I was so tired. Um, well, I mean, obviously, I got, got up at 20 past two on Monday morning. And I did put those in because my eyes were really bloodshot. And again, I put these in last night before we had supper. I also, when I went to bed, used a space mask. Spacemasks.com. These are incredible. So I got into bed last night and just popped one of these on and I fell asleep with it on. And it was just heavenly and it's what I needed. I had a bit of a headache. I was absolutely exhausted and that was a real treat. And I have used these again this evening because I noticed when I got out the shower, my eyes were looking pretty tired, pretty bloodshot. So these aren't something that I use all the time, but emergency situations, they're a godsend. So that, um, that's a good tip for you if you need them, particularly if you've had a really late night um, or I don't know, possibly drunk too much. They're, they're a winner. Anyway, we're gonna go and have supper now. I am going to leave this vlog here because I actually need to edit it to get it out for you guys tomorrow. I hope that you have enjoyed coming skiing with us. I'm sorry I didn't share with you the journey to get here, the packing, all of that malarkey, but I have got a what pack for children for a skiing holiday. So I will link that YouTube video down below so you can um, you can look at that. And actually, it's kind of pretty similar. I mean, I just have been wearing leggings, a few pairs of ski socks, um, my white tops that I live in, polo necks, um, you, you know, base layer, mid layer, um, goggles, glasses and stuff. If you'd like me to do a what I have packed skiing list, let me know down in the comments below and I'm really happy to, to do that when we get back and share it with you in the new year if you have got a skiing trip planned. But I'm gonna say cheers, thank you for watching, thank you for all your lovely comments. I'm sorry I haven't replied to the ones on the last video, but it's been a bit frantic and I was so distressed actually on Sunday that I just couldn't couldn't reply but I promise I will because I appreciate every one of you anyway lots of love and I will see you again soon